Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. In this video I show you the new and much easier method to stream PC VR games wireless to the Oculus Quest or Quest 2. And that's really awesome. So of course you need a um, gaming PC that's um, of course very important. And then we can play games like Half-Life Alyx wireless on the Oculus Quest 2. The program that we need is called Virtual Desktop and the setup is much easier now. I will show you how that works. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodcurs VR, Aufermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Andy DePelzer, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! So guys, first you have to download the virtual desktop app for your gaming PC. So that means you will go on the web page vrdesktop.net. You will find all the links in the description below and it will open this page and you will download the streamer app here. This is an exe file and this uh, you, you just uh, save it here on the desktop like this. Double click and then uh, next, 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 finish. <laughs> and then you can, only this app opens. You only need this, there's nothing else. So what you first gonna do is enter your Oculus username. And it's very important that you write it exactly how it pops up in the um, VR app on the Oculus Quest. You will see that later. So at first time I wrote it like this and that was wrong lowercase for me at least you will have to see you can use different username and then click on save everything else you can leave on standard i i left every setting on standard you can play around with codecs or whatever start with windows start minimize stream audio but i didn't touch any of the settings i want to do it as easy as possible so just leave it like it is only enter the oculus username then minimize it and that's it just leave it in the background of course steam vr must be installed and stuff like you would play it on the pc and then let's continue in the Oculus Quest. Okay guys, welcome inside the Oculus Quest. So of course, uh, when you install the um, Steam VR, uh, the, the um, virtual desktop app on PC, you need the other part on the Oculus Quest. So you will go into the store here. Uh, he will load the store now. And then you go here on search here and yeah you will enter virtual desktop here and now should wait a little bit until he loaded the store and after that um, there should be here the virtual desktop app so if you go here of course you have to buy it first i think it's i'm not sure i think it's 20 bucks um you need to buy it of course and then go on open and that's it <laughs> so easy it's so easy. Look at this. Look at this. He's connected and voila. Here is our desktop. We can control our desktop here with the with the buttons of the controller and stuff. We can even go and surf here. We can just use the, the PC as normal and that's absolutely great. Um, absolutely no problems here. But uh, I will not show you how to work on PC. We want to play. So you will push the on the left touch controller the menu button and here we go so you will see some uh, stuff here so for example you see we, we need the 5 gigahertz wi-fi that's very important otherwise uh, you could get problems here here's uh, 866 megabit per second this is my internal ip address and this is my pc so he recognized everything correct and then you can uh Click there or you can just uh, click the menu button again and go back on your desktop. Um, you can see uh, the settings here and CPU utilization, GPU utilization and stuff. You can of course change around the settings, but I will not show you this, this, uh, the results of changing the settings. Just 
I want to do it as easy as possible. You can play around with the settings, frame rate, quality, uh, sound and stuff here, streaming, VR frame rate, graphics quality and whatever. You can play around a lot with this stuff, but I will show you the standard settings to make it as easy as possible. Go on games here, that's very important, go on games. And then you can see all the uh, recognized games. Um, for example, I installed Stormland, you can play the Oculus games here. And here are my installed Steam VR games. So of course, uh, let's play Half-Life Alex. You, you will just click and then he starts Steam VR. As you can see. And here we are in Half-Life Alex. So that's so awesome. <laughs> Ding. There is only one thing. Some people like me perhaps have more VR headsets than the Oculus Quest. Um, that means perhaps your Valve Index is connected to the PC or your Pimax or your Windows Mixed Reality headset or whatever. If you use the virtual desktop streaming to, to the Oculus uh, Quest or Quest 2, Disconnect your other headset. That's very, very important. Disconnect it. Otherwise, he will start the game on the connected headset and not on the Oculus Quest. So here we are in um, Half-Life Alyx and uh, let's just load a game here. Everything works like normal. And um, yeah, he's loading the game now and I will show you how that uh, works. Loading. And here we are. Guys, so, um, now we can see uh, how, how it looks L here. Crazy, right? And look at the, the latency is pretty good. Also, so there's uh, not really a, a huge latency here or nearly no latency. We can walk around here. That's also very easy. We can grab stuff. I, I cannot see any big latency here, to be honest. It's not perfect. Sometimes it get a little bit stutter, but that's, uh, I think, um, there's, um, because I'm recording at the same time, but still, sometimes the picture stutters a little bit here. So, um, also in the background, in, especially in dark environments or uh, the, the dark wall here, you can see the compression of the video signal. That looks a little bit muddy here, a little bit blurry, but you cannot... Um, <laughs> you cannot uh, change it. You can play around. As I said, you can play around in the settings of the virtual desktop app to to fix that a little bit. So if everything runs smooth, then um, raise the quality or if you get stuttering, lower the quality. Very important, your Wi-Fi router should be in the same room. That uh, makes it much easier and much uh, more compatibly, compatibly with the, with the um, game. So... That's it guys, so easy. And if you want to leave it, just uh, click on the left uh, menu button here, go on quit game. And here you can of course also start the games here, but you can uh, leave Steam VR here. And then you're back here on your desktop and use the stuff. It's great, right? It's absolutely great. So guys, if you liked the video, give me thumbs up and I hope everything was explained correctly. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de